What's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 1999 Cadillac DeVille. Up front is a 4.6 liter V8 and down below is a four speed automatic transmission. Now I am super excited to be driving this here DeVille for a couple of reasons. I really, really love older GM products and this one has the North Star, which I'm excited to get into. But before we get on to anything else, I have a website, ZachBradle.com, where you can buy stickers and other merchandise when it becomes available. You could also submit your own vehicle to be reviewed by me through a quick and easy submission form and you get a video of your car just like this one and you could read my behind the scenes blog to see what I'm filming before it comes out on the channel. But let's get back to that 4.6 liter V8 under the hood, better known as the North Star. Well, if you are unfamiliar, the North Star V8, the North Star family from Cadillac is kind of notorious for being, well, awful. From 97 to 99, and keep in mind that this is a 1999, they had horrible head stud issues, basically, there was an issue with the threading, and so heads were easily warped, head gaskets blew easily, oil leaks and oil consumption was very, very normal, and unfortunately, these were just very, very unreliable engines. My grandparents had a couple of Cadillacs growing up, and both of them locked up because of head issues. However, there are head stud fixes for engines like this, but you're not really going to utilize that without tearing into the head, and doing some pretty serious maintenance. So it's something to keep in mind. Like I said, paired to it, four speed automatic transmission, it's doing the job, nothing really too crazy there. Although it is column shifted, which is kind of nice. Last but not least, the DeVille is front wheel drive and the actual driving experience is really truly superb. It floats, it rolls, it's like driving a cloud. And that's exactly what I come to know and love from Cadillac. So I really, really enjoy that feeling. With that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I actually get digital gauges. This is my favorite part of the interior of the DeVille. Although we do have some other cool parts. I love these gauges just because they are so 90s. And interestingly, off to the left, I have a bunch of buttons for display, trip, timer, all of these awesome information features that you can get in the DeVille's gauge cluster. But off to the right, I actually get my climate controls. They're somewhat attached to the gauges, which is very, very weird, very 80s and 90s of American vehicles to have things attached to the gauges. Even Japanese cars had a lot of things attached to the gauges, like a fighter jet. So it's cool to see that here in the DeVille. Speaking of those climate controls, all the way off to the far right on the passenger door, they actually do get their own climate controls so they can adjust theirs without having to reach up towards the gauge cluster. Pretty cool. The steering wheel is pretty basic. I do have temperature and fan speed on the left side of the steering wheel, kind of interesting there, as well as volume and select on the right side, but the steering wheel itself is big and pillowy. Off to the left, I do have a climate control vent, my gauge dimmer switches, and the headlight switches, which still retain the twilight verbiage that Cadillac has used since the 60s. They used to call it Twilight Sentinel, which was basically automatic headlights. Moving out of the door, I do have my power seat adjustment, some of them, some power seat adjustments, as well as my power mirrors, power locks and power windows, and memory seat options, which is very, very nice. Moving into the center, I get two climate control vents and the radio. This is a theft lock radio from GM. I do have a tape player and CD player, again, from 99. That's pretty nice. And you'll love to see that in a vehicle like this. Then I do have a pull-out cigarette lighter and ashtray. Very, very cool there. And then I don't get any center console because this is a bench seat vehicle. However, I do get an armrest, and the armrest does have fold-out cup holders. So we will do a big friggin' bottle test here in the 99 DeVille, and unfortunately it fails. However cool and gimmicky these cup holders are, they unfortunately don't hold the big friggin' bottle. But the seats themselves are very, very comfortable as you would come to expect from a Cadillac. They are power and they are heated, which is something that is very, very nice. They have lumbar support. They have all the things that you'd really want out of a seat, which is amazing. However, speaking of seats, we do have back seats, 
So let's go do a backseat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 1999 Cadillac DeVille, and it's exactly what you would want out of a Cadillac. My knees don't have a prayer of hitting the seat in front of me. These seats are very, very cushy and comfortable. I have plenty of head space. I mean, I could just sink into the back seats like this. I talked about in my other DeVille review that I'll leave at the end of this video if you want even more thoughts on the back seats because I, I get so much nostalgia being back here. You know, my grandparents always had Buicks or Cadillacs when I grew up. So it's just, I mean, this is the era of vehicle that they had as well. So it's just a lot of memories sort of hit me all at once back here, which is awesome. Let's go hop around the very back. We'll take a quick look at the trunk and cargo space, and then we'll talk about the looks. All right, so we're on the back of the 99 DeVille, and I really wanted to show off that it has this pop around the key fob. There's also one in the car, but it has this awesome popping trunk to it and it'll go all the way up. So back here, you will find the North Star essentials of a drip pad, extra oil, and extra coolant as well. Gotta love that orange Dexacool. But this is what I love about Cadillacs is just how big the trunk is. You could put this on Airbnb and probably get a couple people to, to stay back here. I mean, I really, really love the size of it. American cars used to have amazingly large trunks. Not so much anymore. It's even hard just to find an American sedan as it is, but really, really cool. Now, closing the trunk does have another party piece as well because I'll try to get a shot here. It actually has a motor that pulls the trunk in. That is pretty cool. Now we gotta talk about the looks, and I love the fact that this Cadillac isn't black or white or silver. I love this red color. It's almost like a garnet red. I really, really love it. It's just different. I love seeing cars in paint colors that you don't normally see them in, and I just feel like I rarely see Cadillacs in red, and I think they look fantastic in red, and I think this car looks fantastic as well. This car was also designed by Chuck Jordan, and the reason I bring that up is that I recently drove another vehicle designed by Chuck Jordan, the 98 Monte Carlo. And in that video, I also mentioned that Chuck Jordan's son went on to design the first generation Mazda Miata. And me being a big Mazda fan, I always gotta bring that up. But now let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think driving a 99 DeVille? Well, this is very interesting for me because I've driven a 94 DeVille owned by my good friend David. And that car had the 4.9 liter. That was kind of the engine you wanted out of these, interestingly enough. You wanted the earlier engine because it didn't have head stud issues. But now I get to see the evolution and this being the final model year of this DeVille, what changed? Well, besides the engine, not a whole lot and that's a good thing. I love the way that this DeVille drives and rides. It has that nice, torquey floaty v8 and it has that nice cushy ride it's really really enjoyable this is a luxury car and although this car has been around for 23 years it's still comfortable it's still cushy it's still luxurious it still retains that cadillac float that has become so signature with the brand and i love that and although the engine is problematic it has character it gives the owner's character. When you meet someone that has owned multiple North Stars, like this car's owner, Michael, just from that one fact alone, you can learn a lot about that person. They tend to be hardworking. They don't give up easily. And when they find something they love, they'll go to the Earth's end to make sure that they can continue with that thing that they love. That's what North Star owners are to me because these are not easy engines to love or live with. They're problematic, but not only that, they also just come with this baggage of people not understanding North Stars. And so you get a lot of questions, you get a lot of criticism because Oh, people just don't know. North Star owners, in my mind, are similar to Turbo Subaru owners, are similar to Rotary owners like myself. We fully understand that they're not the best in the world, but they're special to us, and I really, really like that. Huge thank you to Michael for letting me take out his 99 DeVille. It was so cool to get behind the wheel of one of these. Yet again, it's been a couple of years since I've driven one, and so that is all thank you to him. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.